las abuelas de Plaza de Mayo, and their search for their missing children and grandchildren. Why the abuelas? I chose to do my research on the abuelas de Plaza de Mayo. Because I have some former knowledge on the subject from past Spanish classes. One of the main things that sparked my interest in this topic was the movie, La Historia Oficial. I watched this film in high school and in several college courses, and it made me want to learn more about the topic. The work of the women in the Plaza de Mayo also sparked my interest in women's rights work. I focus specifically on the abuelas, because a lot of the attention and credit is given to the madres. Although they have also done a lot of work regarding the issue, I think the abuelas have made huge contributions, and deserve more credit than they're receiving. I also wanted to have more of a focus on the abuelas, because they are growing older, and soon will no longer be able to continue their search, so I was interested in how they are approaching this concern. Research Process My research process included a lot of searching on the library's databases, and a plethora of open tabs. I first looked into the history of the process of national reorganization, or Argentina's dirty war. I felt this background was important in order to fully understand the motivations on the abuelas. I then looked more into the origin of the abuelas themselves. Following that, I researched what accomplishments the abuelas have had and how they have aided in the efforts to locate the disappeared children and bringing sanctions to the perpetrators. I found a multitude of horrific facts surrounding the actions of the military regime during the national process of reorganization. Also, I found that there was a division between the Madres and the Abuelas early on that was based on differing political ideals and differing objectives when it came to bringing justice for the disappeared. With the success of their work, the Abuelas have gained recognition in Argentine pop culture, especially in telenovelas, or soap operas. The abuelas are trying to continue their work by focusing on youth in hopes that they will continue to work towards justice for the disappeared. In regards to the accomplishments made in aid given by the abuelas, I found a great deal of information. This includes their work on creating a national genetic data bank, which stores the blood of relatives of the disappeared, so that even after they are gone, the children will still be able to find the truth. The abuelas were also very influential in the court cases surrounding the perpetrators and bringing about laws that would make it easier to prosecute them. In terms of laws, the abuelas were a guide Argentina's new adoption laws, which give children the age of 18 the right to know the truth about whether they were adopted and, if so, the truth behind the adoption. They also had a large impact on global laws relating to the rights of the child. Further questions for research I would like to know more about how the youth are making strides towards accomplishing the abuelas' goals. I would like to interview some Argentinians, either those who experiences the regime or have heard about it throughout their life, and investigate the Argentinian take on this issue and the abuelas, because it may be different than the information I obtained. Although I don't, and will never, agree with the actions of the military regime during this time, I'd like to maybe interview someone from that side and see why they were prompted to do this, as there are always two perspectives to a story, maybe it was a result of threats, 